Okay, welcome back guys. So, um, today I'm going to show you quickly what we do as machine maintenance and storage for the winter. Um, it's a bit of a different process and hopefully this will help you guys and you'll know what to do in the future. Okay, so how we have in front of us the plow. This is what we're going to be working on today. Um, I finished plowing last night. Um, so this is going to be the immediate thing you'll need to do afterwards, especially with the plow, because you don't want the mold boards to go rusty and um, yeah so let's get right guys so I've come down to the dairy um, some of you will not have one of these this is a volume washer it's a high power high volume uh, water gun effectively if you don't have one of these pressure washer will do you fine I just find it easier because it moves a lot more dirt a lot quicker so first things first let's blast all the loose dirt off um, yeah Alright, so there we have it. We've given it a good blast off with a volume washer. All of the loose dirt that was up round in the grooves here um, has all gone. I've blasted that all off. There's a lot of dirt on the floor, which is good. And now we're going to do something which seems really counterproductive. We're going to grease the plow. Um, by that I mean we're going to wax some grease into all of the grease nipples. Um, and what that will do is it will push all of the dirty grease out of the holes um, and it'll be nice clean grease in the chambers then we're going to go over to our pressure washer or steam cleaner as we're going to use a steam cleaner and we're going to steam it all off and which will blast all of the dirty grease which is pushed out of the you know bearings and um, sleeves and what have you um, and that'll blast that all off and then as a final touch um, we'll come along and re-grease all of the grease nipples and once the plow is dry we'll get some um, really thick grease and we're going to put grease all over every single shiny part of the plow so the discs will get done, the mold boards, points, land sides, uh, skimmers, everything like that will all get greased um, and then it will get parked up for the winter Right, let's get some grease into this thing Just got to keep pumping grease in every single grease nipple. Okay, as you can see, I've um, greased the whole of the plow now. So what I've done so far, uh, volume washed it off, so got all the loose dirt off. I've now greased it completely, every single grease point. And now I'm gonna go over to the pressure washer and we're gonna pressure wash it off. Okay guys, so I'm over by the plow now. I've got the steam cleaner ready, it's behind me. We're just gonna get this steamed off and then we'll get back to it.
Okay, so as you can see, we have, well, I've cleaned the whole plow off with the steam cleaner. There's not a little mark of grease around any of the nipples, which is good. So it's super duper clean now. So next thing, now what we want to do is re-grease it. So we're going to go around and grease it again. And this, what this will do is it will squeeze all of the water out of where I've been pressure washing. Everything will be nice and, well, it'll be full of grease. Um, and then the final job is to grease up the marbles. You can see, literally, look at the rust on here. That's only from last night. That's rust. So you can see how quickly that, you know, if you've got a little bit of acid in your soil, it eats the blooming boards. So, yeah, nice and clean. Let's get greasing. So there we have it, we are done. Um, looking around the plow now, so this is our final look. It is all greased up nicely and it's all done. So as you can see, got grease on everything, it's all greased. And um, yeah, looking good. Okay, so as a, as a quick, um, Final note, um, if you have the ability to store machines like this inside, then perfect, and you should be doing that. Unfortunately, being a dairy farm, every single shed we've got is full up with animals, so um, all our machines have to be parked outside because we just physically cannot put them in a barn. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully this is helpful, and now you'll know roughly what we do and what you should be doing. Um, you know, comment below what you think, and otherwise have a nice day, and we'll catch you later.